So yeah, OpenAI has done it again with the release of GPT-40, the most advanced AI model to date. Imagine having a voice and desktop assistant that is smarter, faster and more versatile than ever. In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about GPT-40. We'll compare it to previous versions, explore its new capabilities and I'll show you how to start using this cutting edge tool right now. So let's dive into it. On the 13th of May, OpenAI announced GPT-40 on their YouTube channel and website. So what exactly is GPT-40? The O stands for Omnichannel, highlighting its ability to interact across audio, vision and text in real time. This model can respond to audio inputs in just 232 milliseconds, averaging around 320 milliseconds, almost as fast as human response times. This is a significant leap compared to previous versions, which were 2.8 seconds for GPT-3.5 and 5.4 seconds for GPT-4. GPT-40 matches GPT-4 Turbo's performance on text in English and code, with significant improvement on text in non-English languages, while also being much faster and 50% cheaper in the API. GPT-40 is especially better at vision and audio understanding compared to the existing models. They also added a ton of cool image generation features that are super useful and weren't available before. For example, now Daily 3 can generate images with proper text. Previously, if you tried to generate image with text, it was horrible, the text was messy and even the simplest words were misspelled. This improvement can help with generating social media posts or even YouTube thumbnails. Another cool feature is character design. Now you can generate images with the consistent character while changing only the environment. Before, if you wanted to generate a new image with the same character, Daily 3 would recreate the same image from scratch, resulting in different characters each time. This feature is incredibly useful for generating consistent characters for social media and is likely to boost the AI avatar trend even more. The next cool feature is 3D object synthesis. Now you can view objects from different perspectives like view O or view 5 and then generate a complete 3D model by combining these images. GPT-40 stands as the most advanced AI model to date. It sets new benchmarks in multilingual audio and visual capabilities surpassing previous models in almost every aspect. It's more powerful than the previous versions and across all the competitors including Claude and Gemini. Let's talk about language tokenization. Lower level language tokenization is better because it ensures all textual elements are captured, enhancing the model's ability to handle diverse and complex inputs. Some languages have seen improvements of up to 4.4 times, while others have experienced a more modest increase of 1.1 times, which is still a valuable enhancement. We're also bringing the desktop app to ChatGPT because we want you to be able to use it wherever you are. As you can see, it's easy, it's simple, it integrates very, very easily in your workflow. Along with it, we have also refreshed the UI. We know that these models get more and more complex, but we want the experience of interaction to actually become more natural, easy, and for you not to focus on the UI at all, but just focus on the collaboration. The new desktop app significantly enhances ChatGPT capabilities by allowing it to analyze active tabs on your computer. This means that ChatGPT can keep track of websites, documents, and applications you have open, providing context-aware assistance tailored to your current tasks. For example, if you are working on a project, ChatGPT can suggest relevant information, automate repetitive tasks, and even draft emails or documents based on the content you are viewing. This not only boosts productivity by streamlining workflows and reducing the time you spend on switching between tasks, but also has the potential to reduce business costs. Each employee can have personal AI assistant, which can help manage workloads more efficiently, allowing employees to focus more on strategic and creative aspects of their roles. Considering these advancements, you might wonder if you still need GPT Plus subscription when all these features are completely free. And I can say that for 90% of users, ChatGPT subscription is absolutely useless now. Before, you paid $20 per month for access to Daily 3, web browsing, data analysis and other cutting edge tools. Now you can use them all for free but with some limitations. This is OpenAI's statement. We're making GPT-4 available in the free tier and to plus users with up to 5 times higher message limits. So if you're an average user who is okay with limitations, then you can cancel your subscription. 
However, for advanced users, I would recommend you to keep the subscription in order to get higher limits. And there is good news for developers. GPT-40 is now accessible in the API as the text and vision model. It's twice as fast, half the price and offers five times the rate limits compared to GPT-4 Turbo. If you're looking for cutting-edge customer support chatbot powered by advanced GPT-40 API, consider future chat. Our chatbots are designed to enhance customer engagement by offering lead generation, appointment setting and seamless integration with third-party tools. Besides chatbot development, each client will get free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me where I'll pick the best AI tools for your business and guide you on how to use them effectively. Click the first link in the description below to get started and elevate your business operations with our innovative AI solutions. OpenAI has shared video samples demonstrating GPT-40's capabilities and there's a lot of interesting stuff there. So let's take a closer look. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm, from what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. This video just blew my mind. I wasn't expecting it to be that natural. The natural pace, tone and interjections make it feel like you're on a phone with a friend. GPT-40 mimics human communication seamlessly and easily. Also, you can see how quickly she analyzes the environment and understands that this guy is recording something without any latencies. In the next video, you can see how GPT-4 assists a boy with geometry tasks. Which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse? relative to angle alpha. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Carbs, correct. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember really, I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly, well done. The boy points at angle alpha and GPT-40 quickly understands and gives a response. When he makes a mistake with hypotenuse, GPT-40 gives him a hint, helping him to find the correct answer. This incredible use case demonstrates how GPT-40 can be integrated into our everyday life, especially in the educational settings. GPT-40 now understands the pace and manner of speech exceptionally well. You can see it clearly in this video. Hey chat GPT, could you count from 1 to 10 for me please? Of course. One, two, three. Hey, actually, that's um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Sure thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Can you like count somewhere in between those two? Got it. One, two. With the new release, GPT-40 outperforms all online translators, making in-person interactions in different languages easy and accessible. Hey ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. You can pair GPT-40 with vision capabilities to create a comprehensive language assistant or tutor. Hey, my friend and I are learning Spanish and we're wondering if you could tell us the names of these objects in Spanish. Hola, por supuesto. Cool. What about, what are these objects in Spanish? The objects you're showing are una manzana and un plátano in Spanish. Nice fruit choice. Cool. What about these? Those are dos polígrafos or dos plumas in Spanish. Nice. What about this? That adorable stuffed animal is un oso de peluche in Spanish. 
Looks like it's ready for some hugs. Another impressive feature is how GPT-40 can assist visually impaired people by analyzing the picture and providing audio description of it. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes. It looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now, the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes, I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. GPT-40 is accessible now. You can use both mobile and desktop versions of it. To access the latest version on desktop, visit chatgpt.com and in the top left corner, select the newest and most advanced model GPT-40. The interface has been updated for a better user experience. For mobile, download the ChatGPT app from the App Store, open it and select ChatGPT 4.0 if it isn't chosen by default. Click the headphones icon to start talking to ChatGPT. Hey GPT, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's everything going with your studies and YouTube channel? Everything is going good, thank you. That's awesome to hear. Are you working on any interesting projects or videos right now? Yeah, I'm working on a video about a GPT update currently. That sounds like a cool project. Is there anything specific you'd like to know or discuss about the latest GPT-4 update? After your session, you will have a full transcript of your dialogue in the session history. This year is a huge for OpenAI. They recently announced Sora and now updated their AI model to GPT-40. This new model excels in real-time audio, vision and text processing with near-human response times. It features accurate text generation with DALL-E 3, consistent character design and 3D object synthesis, setting new standards in AI capabilities. The new desktop app boosts productivity by providing context to assistance potential transforming business operations. Developers also benefit from faster, cheaper and more efficient API access. GPT-40 enhances education, surpasses online translators and provides good language tutoring. OpenAI's breakthrough with GPT-40 makes advanced AI tools more accessible, stepping forward in AI development. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.